Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor here. I figured out since I wrote a book about chronotypes, I might as well explain to you exactly what they are. A chronotype is your genetic predetermined sleep schedule. Many people have heard of this concept, but not actually heard the term chronotype. What we're talking about here is if anybody out there has ever been called an early bird or a night owl. So why would this be important? If you understand what your chronotype is, then you know what your hormone schedule is, which becomes critically important for any and all activities that you do throughout the day. As an example, it turns out there's a perfect time of day to do just about everything based on your chronotype. And yes, I'm talking about everything from intimacy to drinking a cup of coffee to even working out. You can do all of them better if you know your chronotype. What are the four chronotypes? First, we have lions. They replace early birds. These are the folks that make a list every single day and go from step one to step two to step three. High energy people, very interested in exercise and fitness, and again, early risers. Unfortunately, socially, they don't do so well. I mean, let's be honest, dinner and a movie is kind of out for a lion because they've been up since 5.30 in the morning. So pros and cons in either direction. Next come the bears. That represents the people in between the early birds and the night owls. Believe it or not, they make up almost 55% of the population. Honestly, I wish I was a bear. The nine to five work schedule works perfect for a bear. A lot of my bears have a tendency to be the people that get the work done. Sometimes they're extroverted, sometimes they're introverted. They're always fun to be around and usually a great friend. Next are the night owls and I call them wolves. I personally am a night owl, hardly ever go to bed before 11.30 or 12, and that's a very characteristic of wolfish characteristics. One of the things we know about people who fall into this category is these have a tendency to be my creatives, my artists, my actors, my authors, people of that nature. I mean, let's be honest, when you meet somebody who's really creative and you say, when did you get your inspiration? They usually say two o'clock in the morning. The final category, which is the new category, which I discovered is called the dolphin. Dolphins actually represent people with very erratic genetic sleep schedules. So these people actually come to me oftentimes, and that's really who I wrote the book for, with a schedule where they look like a lion wanting to wake up early and meet the day, but unfortunately they get such poor sleep at night, it's incredibly, incredibly difficult. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, I've listened to what you said, Dr. Bruce, but, but how do I know what my personal chronotype is? You can learn your chronotype by visiting thesleepdoctor.com and take my chronotype quiz. Now, another question people say is, well, once I took the quiz, I, I learned I was a lion. C can I change my chronotype? Well, to be honest with you, no, it's genetic. However, there's something out there called chrono longevity, which I think is pretty interesting. Believe it or not, we all go through all of the different chronotypes. So when we're an itty bitty baby, we're a lion waking up early and going to bed early. Once the children hit that toddler through middle school phase, you're a bear going to bed and waking up right around the time that the sun comes up. Then what happens? You go into adolescence and then you become a wolf. I mean, remember when you were 14, 15 years old, all you wanted to do was stay up late and sleep late. When you hit about 20, 22 years old, your body sets for about 30 to 40 years, and then something else happens. You actually start to go backwards. You ever notice how your grandparents wanna eat dinner at 4.30 in the afternoon? That's because their, their phase is moving backwards because of that change in melatonin. So actually, you actually get a second chance to be a lion if you ever wanted to be. Now, what if I just don't feel like I fit inside one chronotype? This is something that's pretty common and we oftentimes think these people are the dolphin or the insomnia chronotype. But if you wanna get a better sense for your chronotype, try following a consistent schedule for two weeks, then retake the quiz. What do I mean by consistent schedule? I want you eating at the right times, which means stopping food by about two hours before bed, avoiding caffeine after 2 p.m., and following a consistent wake-up schedule. The thing that affects your circadian rhythm the most turns out to be the hormone melatonin. To learn more about melatonin and whether it's right for you, check out our video. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.